The Battle of Monk's Corner was fought on April 14, 1780 outside the city of Charleston, South Carolina, which was under siege by British forces under the command of General Sir Henry Clinton. The Loyalist British Legion under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Bannister Tarleton surprised an American force stationed at Monk's Corner and drove them off. The action cut off an avenue of escape for Benjamin Lincoln's besieged army in Charleston, and aside from the British Legion and the 33rd Foot and 64th Foot led by Lieutenant Colonel James Webster, the force included Loyalists, the American Volunteers led by Major Patrick Ferguson. As the British were getting ready to begin the siege of Charleston, General Sir Henry Clinton noticed American troops were still entering the city without trouble, and as his men dug trenches and prepared for siege, he detached 1,400 men under the command of 25-year-old Lieutenant Colonel Bannister Tarleton to cut off the supply lines and reinforcement routes into the city. Clinton also detached Loyalist troops under the command of Major Patrick Ferguson and the 33rd Foot and the 64th Foot under the command of Lieutenant Colonel James Webster. Webster and Ferguson were upset that Clinton didn't put them in command of the operation because both of them had extensive military service and way more experience leading troops in battle than Tarleton did. This anger and jealousy caused a lot of conflict among the British commanders and they were arguing that the British should approach the battle in a more conventional style of fighting instead of the nighttime surprise attack Tarleton suggested. The Americans were commanded by General Isaac Huger, who was supported by Lieutenant Colonel William Washington's dragoons and elements of Pulaski's Legion under the command of Chevalier Pierre Fréquence Venier. They numbered about 500, with most of them being Virginia militia. Tarleton had spoken to some Loyalist locals who gave him information about where the Americans were and their defenses, and he also intercepted a report from Huger to Lincoln talking about the dire straits his army was in at Mock's Corner, and he decided to attack on early morning and opted to wait until morning to start the attack. Tarleton decided to attack on his own, and at 3 a.m. on April 14, 1780, with 650 troops, most being dragoons, he attacked the militia while they were sleeping. Many of Tarleton's infantry were loyalists from the surrounding area, and there was a lot of bad blood between them and their former neighbors. In a report to Clinton, Tarleton said, The Americans were completely surprised. General Huger, Colonels Washington and Jameson, with many officers and men, fled on foot to the swamps. As the battle concluded, some of Tarleton's men started getting out of control, including killing Pulaski Horse Commander Vanier after he had asked for a quarter and attempts to ravish several ladies at the Colleton Plantation. Tarleton ended up getting his men under control, but later Major Patrick Ferguson was offended by these acts and Webster had the perpetrators sent back to the British camp outside Charleston, where they were supposedly tried and whipped. Ferguson would later write to Clinton telling him that Tarleton was too young to be leading troops and that he had no control of the chaos after the battle. Clinton disagreed and Tarleton would end up hearing about the letter and when Patrick Ferguson requested reinforcements at Kings Mountain, Tarleton refused to assist him and Ferguson's army ended up being completely destroyed at the Battle of Kings Mountain and Ferguson was shot multiple times. At the Battle of Monk's Corner, American casualties included 14 killed, 19 wounded, and 64 captured. The British suffered only three wounded. Some of the scattered remnants of Huger's force made their way north and east. They eventually regrouped under Colonel Anthony Walton White, but were again scattered by Tarleton at Lonode's Ferry on May 6th. After both of these actions, Lincoln was forced to surrender Charleston and more than 5,000 Continental Army troops on May 12th. It was the worst American loss of the war.